All right, Brick Baby, how's it going? What's going on, baby? Good to meet you again, you know me. Yeah, man, Sticking glad to have you back, man. <laughs> you know, the fans really liked you, man. Loved your interview, man. Loved your take on things, man. Yeah. I'm like a, a, a when I say it, it don't get disputed, so, you know what I'm saying? They can, they can take facts from you. The streets can take facts from you, you know? That's what it is. <laughs> Definitely, man. Well, you know, man, i seen some rumors uh, about you. Now, I don't know if they were true. You didn't really weigh in on them, I don't think. But, uh, you know, I know you have a real close relationship uh, with Dirk. Yeah. And then there was the rumors about you signing to OTF. Is there any anything to that? It, nah, man, it ain't nothing to it. I, I mean, it's OTF. We got some shit in the works, but it ain't no locked-in type situation. They just see me on, on the ground with a gang of money and just think that it's that. But, you know what I'm saying, we got music coming. We just filling out the fields right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it's time to lock in, everybody going to lock in. How, how'd you link up with Dirk? Me and Dirk met through DJ Bands. DJ Bands used to always be in the trenches with me and Pee Wee Longway, so like right around Lobby Runners and all that early on. So when uh, Bands and Dirk start coming to LA, I kind of linked with them and shit. It's been together since then. Like they, we we been we was kicking it in LA and shit. I start coming to Chicago and. We just start linking in, like, you know, like family, you know, like people that's uh, kind of like alike, you know what I'm saying? Like birds of a feather flock together. We the same type of nigga to me. I don't know. No, nah, that's what's, that's what's up, No, nah, I'm just saying, you know, I don't, other people might have other, but to me, me and him the same type of person. That's why we get along so well. Like it was at a point to where I was talking to him more than bands. Cause we got more shit in coming, you know what I'm saying? Just as far as growing up, gang banging and shit. But bands, that's my dog. Always put him first. Dirk beat his case. Well, he didn't beat his case, but it got dismissed. So that's like, you know, I know he got to be Free feeling the shooters. really good about that shit. Free the shooters, man. Respect the shooter, man. I'm all about. I, every every situation different. Like all that killing innocent kids and all that shit should. Listen, man, respect the man that's going to up it and blow it and know the situation behind it, man. I just respect, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. I don't know what happened that night. I ain't, it, it's a, it, The case over with, so whatever happened that night, man, nigga know not to play with him no more. Real shit, real shit, man. You know, it's definitely a positive thing. You know, he's one of the hottest artists in hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? It would have just been... Another sad, sad situation. Another sad situation, but then you got motherfuckers just fucking it up for us, like, if it's true. Like, Tori, you, you can't go around shooting bitches and all that. I mean, shooting females and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you fuck up the brand. Like, they gonna get to talk about rappers on dress, can't control they self, all that type of shit, or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? But if it ain't true, you know what I'm saying? That's a cold, another cold situation, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to speak too early, but you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that's out here shooting girls and kids and all that shit, depending on what the girl did. Because if she stole some money from you, a lot of money, she got to get hit. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's the only, like, logical <laughs> way I can right think. Yeah, that yeah, type of yeah, but, you know, it yeah. just is what it is. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, the total Tory thing is, is kind of just... You hear so many different stories, man, and you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, you I'm know, praying it's, it's the like one that he's crazy, saying, though. No, I, I, I could see I could see a woman losing it and just putting it all on you. I done been there before. You know what I'm saying? Just out of spite type shit. You know what I'm saying? I done been there before. Got to regroup. What that nigga hoes say? Nigga say they made hoes. Made hoes say, okay, so make another hoes. Got to make another one. You know what I'm saying? They blew your name up, man. Redeem yourself. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. Yeah, You can't man. let a bitch put you up. I, I know I keep saying bitch. I don't know Megan Stallion, but if she did lie, you can't let a bitch change how you feel, like get you out your emotion to where you out here shooting guns and fighting. You going to lose every time like that. That's what they want. That's the only way you can win. They can win. You shut the fuck up, walk out the door, keep fucking on their friends, she going to be hurt. She can't call the police on you then. You know what I mean? Real shit, man. Get you in jail, man. These 
Females are crazy. You mentioned you had a situation. Is there anything you could talk about? As far as what? Wait, with with some with some chicks trying to, you know. Get oh, you, you to, talk about? Oh no, I got baby mamas and shit, man. Yeah, hell yeah, it's a million things I could talk about, but that shit would be snitching too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that all deep. that shit. I really don't. It's just like you can. How about? How could I say? All right, I ain't gonna say no names, but a girl stole some money from me, her and her mama. I ain't going to say no name. She knows who she is. You know what I'm saying? They, her and her mama stole some money for me. So I can't even say the location because it's going to lead back to who the person is. So they at a house. I pull up to the house. Now, mind you, it's my people house, though. So I get the knocking on the door. They talking crazy on the phone. Fuck you, nigga. So what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bitch ass nigga. Like, yeah, we got your wedding. Like, talking crazy, right? Like, $16,000, $17,000, too. It wasn't no, like, little shit. You know what I'm saying? So I go over there. I'm knocking on the door. Now I know that my people ain't there. I'm booting that motherfucker. So why they call the police and try to get me arrested? Because... I'm at my people house trying to get in. You talking crazy to me while you at my people house. You get what I'm saying? So it came crazy. I still went to jail, but I ain't go to jail for that. I had a warrant for something else. But they kicked her out of the house. They like, well, it look like these people last name the same. Oh, you gotta go. Like you talking crazy. Da 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 da. You gotta go. They like. She like, no. He was threatening to kill me. He was coming over here to do something to me. Like you guys have to listen to me. I'm like, yeah, you know, they do that. I'm a firm believer. I I know they do it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't the only time that a bitch did rolled over on me, but, you know, it's just one. So it's totally no possible. No hidden, I ain't made contact with the person. So it's totally possible that Megan Thee Stallion is making this whole thing up, man. I mean. <clears throat> that would be. Why she takes so long to come out with the story if the nigga shot it, uh, 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 Tori shot you. And he's, how can I say it? If Tori shot you, what are you withholding the information for? What was you trying to keep a G for? Because at the end of the day, he had a case for shooting you that day. So you had to tell somebody something. You know what I'm saying? Or your story's not adding up. You probably came with two, three stories. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's just like... Yeah, she could be making it up. Then I don't want to just be like, oh, that's the girl who cried wolf. You know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe the bitch didn't. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know, man. We got to wait, man. We it it depends wait. on the trajectory into the feet. Like, I don't see how a motherfucker just hit the feet. Like, I, I done shot a gun before. And it's like, to shoot at the feet and hit them, that's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't never like, you got to think, once you aim right there, they get to dancing. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, did you really just hit him twice in the foot or did you reach in the back seat and just, fall, fall? like, what happened? Because how you get hit in the foot, I could see a leg shot or something. You know what I'm saying? Something you can aim at. The foot is going to move. As soon as they sit, that motherfucker is not going to sit in the same spot with no pistol on it. 100%. No, I, I hear you, man. That's, uh, <laughs> it, the, the the whole situation, man. You know, it's it's kind of crazy, man. She she's sticking to her story, you know. Uh, I, you know, I, I kind of just I, I kind of just been watching the whole thing, man. You know, yeah, yeah. I want to speak too early than know, everybody shaming you and shit. You yeah, know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. Know, it's, it's, yeah, you, know, it's, uh, you dead ass wrong if you lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you didn't lie, then shit. If she's lying. Yeah, man, that's some yeah, fucked up shit. Yeah, Cause it done yeah. fucked up his whole career. And he probably just spent about three hundred thousand on lawyer and bail, probably about four. Yeah, she got to get him that back if she's. Yeah, that. she ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> she she already lied. She ain't pulling no bankroll off. That's out. That's out. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he, I mean, Tori probably just be happy to get out of the situation at this point. Yeah, I mean, like any real person, it ain't even real nigga, like any real person going up against the people, you know what I'm saying, what's the judge, boom, 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 and make his decision, it's over, whatever your life going through, I mean, if you got to go sit it down for a second, at least that's over with, at least you know that you on to your next chapter, 
Yeah, you know I'm saying like it's life. Yeah. Once that babble goes, boom, boom. It's, you let the you let them adjudicate you. You already fucked up, and let them put your life in their hands again at that court. So it's just like whatever you come out with, just hope you don't got life double back, man. Put some money up, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Tory Lanez. I mean, he you know he got a lot of money, so I'm sure. He'll, shit, that shit don't be shit be once you sit in jail, though. You still trying to pay bills and mortgages from right there. Keep your investments. Shit, that little shit don't be nothing. You gotta think how many people every time they get a chance to steal from them, they gonna steal from them while you're in jail. Mm. Every person that they get, your manager still, your accountant still, everybody you in jail, boy, sit down. I, certain checks ain't popping up. You know what I mean? It's, it's like that. You had a lot of situations like that, I take it, when you were locked up? Ah, shit. Hell yeah, I, have, I don't know. All I had was my jury when I came home, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. Bitches that ran off with cars, all the time, man. I, I stay going through it, so, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep that shit in your name and put it up. That's all I can tell you. That's it. <laughs> Well, uh, Soldier Boy recently came out. You know, uh, he was kind of girl. saying some negative things about Draco, man. And you know, I, I know she kind of weighed in and has some things to say about that. And Soldier Boy is a bitch. It, it's like, man, you screaming. Then I seen some shit the other day. He got the money on top of his head, like he be talking about. He gonna drop a million. Spend that shit, nigga. Cheap ass nigga, spend it. On the hood. Cash in. You got a bounty on my head. Come pick that shit up. Come collect, nigga. Dead homies. You the type of nigga that I be waiting on, man. You skinny bitch. Dead homies. I ain't even doing no plan with no nigga. I seen Soldier Boy so many times in my life because I've never seen that nigga talk crazy to me in my life. He's so scared of a nigga. He's so scary in person. He ain't nothing but this big. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. We used to live around the corner from each other at Porter Ranch. Like, come on, my nigga. You know you ain't coming like I'm coming. And that's why I'm like, man, look, man. The lowest drop, though, you are already. They can know where you at. Just watch what you say. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you can't hide. Man, you live with everybody else. You ain't going to live where I'm going to live at. I'm I, I really like a street scientist. Like, I'm going to live right there, right up under your nose. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still living like that. I am not finna live where all the rappers live at and get picked on. I'm finna be somewhere where you think it twice anyway it go. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people in the comments were like, kind of like, where was this energy when Draco was alive? Because Draco kind of came out, you know, said he was in PC, and then he kind of just... Man, the man was in PC. It, it, all right, so it ain't PC, but it's PC. You got a choice. Me and Draco, we ain't as big as Soldier Boy at the time. Draco way bigger than that dude right now, though, even with the one song he came up with. But uh, one song he came back with. I give it to you, Soldier. I respect your career, but you be tweaking out. This how you fuck up every time, bro. You ain't even just sit back and kick it. It's the reason why them niggas ran up in your house while you was a kid, man. Kick it. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, he was in PC. They asked you, do you want to go to the million dollar row or you want to go general population? Anything that's not general population is p protective custody, special needs. Keep away. You know what I'm saying? Like, you went to visiting. We seen you at visiting, but you was in a box. Can't nobody touch you. Niggas getting real deal stabbed and all that. Like you say, you're a gangbanger. You gotta come to gangland. You can't. You can't skip out like that. Snoop wasn't going PC. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's rappers that come through there, jail, felony, all them niggas. Man, they ain't going to the protective custody. They finna go float around that motherfucker. So, is there a point where, like, you don't have a choice but to go to high power no. or? Hell you no. always have a choice. Always got. I mean, they're going to try to persuade you into high power. You can deny. High, they can't put you in high power unless the judge says this is a high power case. Put him in high power. That's the only way you can't beat it. Okay. And it's like, 
don't brag about being in jail because you know you got the motherfucking blue carpet treatment when you in that motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? You not you wasn't in the same LA County as us. You was close. You was right there with us in the same building, but you wasn't with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I bet you ain't got no blood on him. <laughs> he ain't never seen no blood squirt where he at. You know what I mean? So how would it be like for somebody like a soldier boy? Would it be, do you think he would be like, would dudes like want the extra fade with soldier boy because he's soldier boy? For what? Just because he's soldier boy? Man, they gonna want an extra noodle from that nigga, man. What the fuck have he did? <laughs> an extra fade for what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, if you go in there, I want to see him bang Fruit Town Pyro on the Compton Crip nigga. I want to see it. I want to see him run into a treetop nigga and do that in the jail. I want to see it. You know what I'm saying? I I want to see what the fuck go happen. I know he pure pussy, so it's like, nigga, you ain't even go, I bet you don't even stand on it. You ain't even going to merch it in front of that nigga. You not finna bang nothing. Guaranteed. You gonna be going to Big Draco way, man. I'm soldier boy, man. I right, fuck going on, man. Yeah, I got money. You gonna be trying to smile, and laugh, and try to get up out of it the soldier boy way. Come on, man. Man, nigga, no. What's like the you know the craziest situation you've seen where like you seen somebody like roll it up that you would have never like thought about or something? <laughs> now, does that happen a lot? Or yeah, yeah, that should happen a lot, man. I don't know, man, because the. It been a gang of crazy shit. It been a gang of crazy shit, bro. But it's like that shit happened a lot, though. Like, niggas, you think they gonna roll it up when they get to them certain situations? Like, a lot of people roll it up before they get to the door. A motherfucker be knowing what's going on in the jail. They be like, hey, what dorm I'm going to? Like, oh, you going to 5600? Like, oh, I can't go in there, man. I got enemies in there. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you pop it to the, like, when you pop it to the hallway, say you go on the doctor's pass, and you see a nigga with his bed rolled up with the fresh bed, fresh lunch on top of that motherfucker, he ain't came in the door, he denied. He denied housing. So he sitting in that motherfucker trying to act like he don't see nobody in the hallway and shit. You know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker don't come in the door with a line of people, you got to check on what the fuck just happened. You know what I'm saying? Because he just left from somewhere, but why he by himself? Because it... Y'all usually come in by the fives and tens. Like, we usually don't just get one person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then it'll be, happen to be after the line. So wherever you just deny that, they going to send you somewhere down the street. We just got some new people in, too. Why you didn't come with them? Mm. You know what I'm saying? It gets sticky. You got to whoop your homie's ass, bro. Them niggas be doing some real cat shit if you let them. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is a part of, like, I done seen like, all right, you see the knife and all, oh, I gotta go, all that shit, or a nigga keep telling you they gonna stab, but I know bitch ass niggas that won't even go smell the scene, go peep the scene out. That shit be crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get, you gotta take your licking. That's what you, you signed up for. You know what I'm saying? Like, when the OSJ, they came to get me as soon as I came in. You want me to take your high power, you go to main line. I'm like, man. Just let me go on my rodeo. I'm trying to go see all the niggas that I ain't seen in a minute. No way. I ain't going to see them in high power unless we had court together. You know what I'm saying? That shit. You know what I'm it just depends on what type of nigga you is. And I didn't have the status that, 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 that soldier boy had, so I can't compare. But I doubt Nipsey ever went high power. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Unless it was these last couple times for some tickets or something, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I ain't never heard of a nigga going to the to the to the high power. You know what I'm saying? He always mainlining. So it's like, what's your excuse, my boy? Mm. I'm the gang. I was interviewing Crip Mac, and he told me about this story about this guy where like he came in and he had some fades, and he he just got hit and just acted like he was just knocked out. And just beat up so he didn't have to fight no more. Okay, what what are some wild things that you seen in jail? Odd? Yeah, odd or wild, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've seen a motherfucker get hit uh one time, cause I put sleep on Rally Crit. You fight me? Mm. I've seen somebody get hit uh 
on neighborhood crib one time, yeah, and, 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 and scream. You fight me on Rolling Crips. Uh, a nigga my size, she fight me on Rolling. I was, I was fighting uh, a smaller, you fight me on Hood. I seen that. You uh, hit dude once and that was it? On Rolling Crip. I've also seen some that come in and they get in a squabble and they fake like they got knocked out so they don't have to keep fighting also, though. <laughs> on Rolling Crip. I've seen that also. Uh, Oh, hood, that's funny, yo, yeah, really. I've seen it. They think like they got knocked out just so they don't have to fight. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're the first punch. First punch? They don't even try. They don't even try. They don't even represent where they from. This is, that's whack. Damn. That's just scary, dude. Oh, I, I, I know the fake go down. I mean, shit, at least you made it that far, L.A. County, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You make it to the ring, nigga, and get in there. I mean, can't nobody say that when you blank out. I ain't never did it, but shit. You got back there. You took the couple hits to get... I mean, I know people that won't even go try that out. Tough niggas. When they talk about fighting and shit and all that, all them niggas dissing on their songs on the street, when it's time to go ahead and hit that county and, 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 and answer up to it, they not trying to do it. I don't know. They say, they, I, and I don't want to, because I, I heard the little nigga against it, but they say Trey Wages, I talked to my little niggas on the 3000 front, they say Trey Wages rolled it up, but you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I tap back in on that. I don't don't mark my words, but yeah. I'm sick, sir. Cause just did some Mickey shit, tried to get off on one of the homeboys in the day room up at Wayside. They beat cause ass. Knocked him all out. They all went to the hole, drug him up out the door. You know what I'm saying? Then they say that he didn't want to. I mean, him getting off in the day room, like, that's what I be talking about in that Have You Ever song I just dropped. I said, I said, have you ever fell into an enemy door full of op ops? Nigga, I'm going to get off in the day room. We finna hot box. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is... It is legal, but I ain't never did it. I ain't never just went live in the day room because I really be back there like fighting and shit. But I didn't beat something up in the day room like a dorm that I was in. But what he did ain't no PC move. Like he went in there, they said he had fades. He tried to cream something. He took all his fades at one time. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me how to take my fades. So, you know what I'm saying? But that's considered cash shit. Your homies might whoop your ass. If you fuck up the program like that, though, that's something that you still got to doubt back in at home about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You hope that you don't come back in that dorm or you didn't fuck up the wrong phone call for a broke nigga. Damn. You know what I mean? How bad did going to jail slow you up? Fucked up my whole life. That four, that little last four blew me out the water because I already was always on the run when it was time to sign the deal. Like, motherfuckers don't know that. Like, I didn't have plenty shit penciled in because, man, I can't perform. I can't, you can't promote that. Like, when I was up and coming, like, I'm glad I didn't sign none of them development deals, but then it's like, shit, I would have been in the loop. They would have had to push me. You get what I'm saying? Like, like it's the gift and the curse trying to be a real nigga all the time. Like, that shit fucked me up this time. I was signed to Dev. I, I signed to Dev Jam. They dropped me before COVID. Like right, be they was thugging it out with me, trying to thug it out till I came home. They dropped me right before COVID. It's like I just had dropped the mixtape with Chris Brown, Gucci Man, Young Thug, Dirk, Fetty Wap, Ty Dollar Sign on it. Everybody. I just like I was in rotation. You know what I'm saying? And it just snapped away from a nigga the me and chris brown song was viral on tiktok it probably got like view hashtag trap out the uber it probably got like two three million uh videos this is from 2016 i was living in porter ranch in a mansion i had to get up out of there move to vegas it just like i mean a mini mansion mansion whatever you call it. i was in the gates you know what i'm saying life behind the gates i i separated myself already and then it just fucking with the wrong people because that shit didn't even have nothing to do with me i'm not i went to jail for a robbery over some jackets i don't even play ball like that like i buy clothes i this is what i do 
I'm going to get dressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm proud to pay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with a clown duck ass nigga. And this nigga goes for the steal on the bape jackets while I'm arguing with a nigga. You feel me? He goes and steals some jackets, runs out, gets into a fight. I ain't going to leave my homeboy right there. So they talk about I was a part of the lick because I drove off with him. I just did four years for that. Damn. Yeah, but see, it was just, that was like what they could catch me on. They kept on trying to bring me in and out to testify on the murders, like from my little niggas that was with me every day. You feel what I'm saying? Then uh, my crime me, the one that did all that shit, that started all this shit, he told on everybody. Murders and all that over a robbery. Toughest nigga around that motherfucker. I'm talking about shooter. Damn. Just did 12. He had just did 12. He was gone from when I was like 16. He was 18 to like 30. Then he came home for like a year and a half and caught this shit. And told on Told everybody. on everybody. That nigga got, that nigga got pharmacy licks, bank licks, uh, cash check. Check cashing play yeah, that nigga was going wow. I didn't even know that shit. He coming back to my house every day after this shit. Clown type nigga, bro. You never you can't let no matter how much you love a motherfucker, when he start doing shit you don't do, separate from cuz. That's all I can tell you. Separate fast. Cause he crash your life. That energy crash your energy. If, yo, if, if motherfucking energy ain't on what you on, get away from it. You don't have no explanation. You're your own self. Like, get the fuck away from them niggas. You don't got to pick up the phone. You don't got to let that nigga through your door. He won't smoke, smoke it up. Is he better off dead? You get what I'm saying? He fuck it up. I'm telling you, he better off dead. I, I should have smoked that nigga. That's what I should have did. My little niggas would still be free and all type of shit. You feel me? How many guys did he take down? Five. Plus he told on some blood niggas he was kicking it with. So I ain't no telling what he told on it with that shit. We ain't bloods. We can't read the pay like you know what I'm saying? We ain't around them bloods he told on yet. They all gonna meet with my little niggas in the pen. That shit gonna come to the light though. Everybody got their paperwork on them. Man, what do you think when 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 something like that happens, man, and you know what I'm saying, this is supposed to like this dude that we, had you know this solid history and everything, man, and all this, all this shit comes out. Straight dork. That's how it happened. Nerd ass niggas be around acting tough because they don't got no money to get the fuck on. That's the only reason they been in the hood they they whole life. Nigga, if you had a place to go and some money to spend, nigga, you'd be up out that motherfucker. But you know what I mean? They and they love the streets. So when it's time to get up off the streets, it's like shit. How can I get back? There's one way you can for sure shake back, unless you the shooter. You know what I mean? Like, it's one way for sure you can shake back. Do a deal with the DA. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Work a deal. Work for them folks. You know what I'm saying? You want to get back. That's the pussy shit, though. I don't be on that. Free the gangland, though. Free the ones that matter, man. Fuck him. They can keep cuz forever. Them type of niggas supposed to be in jail forever. That's crazy, man. Damn. Did you see the viral video? Speaking of snitches, there's a viral video going around where they carved on the top of dude's head, <laughs> I'm a snitch, <laughs> in his head. Yeah, that's cool, too. But why is y'all playing with him like that? Like, that wasn't no gangster shit to do. Y'all should have handled him. Y'all in jail. Like, what jail let y'all uh, talk to snitches without stabbing them? Like, I don't know. I come from some other different type of structure on Keyway. I ain't, nigga, I'm six up. Nigga, a snitch on the line, cuz getting down. It ain't nothing else to talk about. You got to. You can't talk to no snitch and have enough time. That all them, you carving that shit in, you should have really been carving it with a knife. He should have been leaking out his face. He should have never wanted to look at his face again. You know how many of my homeboys is in jail because the nigga just wanted to tell? Mm. That's out. That's out. Like, it was cool. It's funny. But then it's like, the people who did it, like, nigga, gangsters don't jail like that. So what is you on? 
How is you even on the yard with him? Y'all in the same area? Was you was y'all on the PC yard together? Cause he knew he snitched before he got on the yard. He got his paperwork on him. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta you gotta double look at shit like that when you done been through them situations. We talked about uh fights in the county jail a little bit earlier, man. Well, you know, what do you think was like your hardest fight that you had to deal with while being in there? I always say uh, it wasn't really no hard fights because I fight hard every time we fight. Uh, six, uh, one time I did get my nose busted to where I had to stop fighting, but that's because that shit was leaking everywhere, and that's the only that's the only swim banger he got, and it was my boy. Cuz fight with his head down to hit a nigga with some shit like that in my nose, but I I pop cut nose at the same time too. We both leaked out with well, his shit. He hammered my shit though. My shit, we drunk to the motherfucker, and then we back there fighting. We squabbling, cuz go for the swim banger. Crack my shit up, spin up. And, uh, and I'm trying to get back in there. I'm trying to stop that motherfucker. It don't stop. We had the nigga after the count came, they seen blood all on the floor, all on my sneakers. They pull us both out. Oh, that's my brother. Ooh, ooh. That's how you deal with that. That's my brother right there on the hood. Nigga, why should get in? You still want to get in? We going to get out, cuz on the dead army. I ain't leaving you, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we gonna do what we gonna do. Nigga, whatever, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever time allowed. You know what I'm saying? The funny part is, we smoking weed together later on that night. We so loaded. You know what I'm saying? Like, then I squabble. Uh, what's that little nigga name? I was fresh in that motherfucker. That's when me and Draco was on the tier together. I squabbled the nigga, uh, D Dog from Hoover. Uh, six, uh, we went like eight rounds, nine rounds, and uh, good ones. All all at once or or separate times? All at one time. All at once. Because no, wasn't nobody falling, and we both wasn't getting up off of that. Like, hold on. Let me get my breath, nigga. I'm six, so we back in there. We still fresh. Ain't nobody hit the ground yet. The fight ain't over. That's how niggas fight. You hit the ground, you get back up. Shake hands, whatever. Or you don't you want to shake hands, nigga, let's do it again. That's just how it niggas program. I seen you describe that the 60s have, uh, you guys have your own fighting style. Yeah. W what is that? It's just like the ops know, like, when we fight, we fight with our four, like, they know. This is how we block, like, it's certain ways we block where you know, like, oh, he from neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? Like, all the neighborhoods, we damn near fight the same way. Like, as far as when you square off, niggas don't, I think niggas just be watching the technique and don't really know how to move with that shit. And some of them just be sitting there trying to hide their face from getting hit and fighting with their head down and shit. But we got a certain blocking technique. Like, and, like, oh, six, so, like, when we beating shit up, we gonna throw up the hood with the LX and all that while we fight. Like, it's just a swag we got. Niggas can't be like us. We got the tiny lug dip. You know what I'm saying? We got, nigga, uh, and I got the overheel hammer. I be fucking shit up with that. And, uh, like, nigga over there fighting here first. I'm gonna back up. Boom! Smack you on top of your shit. Try to, nigga, stop playing. <laughs> I'm trying to smash all this. It ain't no forming no squabbling, you know what I'm saying? Just get in there. <laughs> well, uh, Crip Mac and Jap 5, you know, they were, they were kind of going back and forth for a while on uh, on the internet, and then, uh, you know, the news came in that they met up and actually handled their business out in county jail, man. How'd you, you know, what'd, what'd you think about that? It had to happen. It had to happen. Like, all that you got Hoover killer on your face, you drop five, y'all both on the internet popping it, that has to happen. Now, I could probably tell you who won. The little nigga buff, he, he athletic. My boy, stiff, he gotta start working out a little bit more. My boy, uh, well, as far as, he might need to do some yoga, five time. Uh, he might need to do some yoga though, cause he just a little bit stiff. He get back up in there and get the shaking shit down, that's a big old nigga. He gonna listen, man. man. He get that shit. Big, he man. get that shit together, man. Motherfuckers gonna stop on the fighter. See, they know he's stiff. So, you know what I'm saying? They be trying to pick fights because, like, boy, 
Uh, six, so that nigga get that shit together without y'all knowing y'all gonna be in for a rude awakening. That's a big old dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt Mack is big, man. He, he, he get a good shot on you, and yeah. you in, you in yeah. trouble, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that's for damn yeah. sure. He get up out, up under that OE, get up out of that, he'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, but free the ones who matter. Free the gangland. Free my nigga. Fifty fifth Street. What's the selection of, of drugs like in jail? <clears throat> Ice and spice. <laughs> Ice spice and nigga some brown shit. That's nice. <laughs> it's three drugs in that motherfucker. It's weed and prono shit. Either you off the black. You off the ice, or you off the spice, or you off all level. You know what I'm saying? Drug selection is hell of a deal. I it police, I don't know who bringing it in with this. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, a plethora. <laughs> yeah, as long as you got a cash after that work, you in there, man. Uh, you ain't gonna miss a beat. I ain't gonna lie, I used to get high. I used to get high. I used to get high. I don't fuck with that ice though. I used to be all spice and black, loaded. Six up. Uh, I was the highest in the room for sure. The police used to be looking at me like, man, what the fuck is wrong with Mitchell, man? This nigga. <laughs> this nigga's in the day room like this. <laughs> you hear the door open up, walking. Nigga trying to straighten up, you still. <laughs> Six up on the phone with your bitch arguing, you done passed out with the sleep, you don't know what the fuck you arguing with, you keep on. Uh, Six up, she used to hate that shit. She didn't know, I had to tell her at the end though. I told everybody, that's why I'm cool with saying it right now. Like, and uh, COVID came, I, I didn't do no drugs in the county. I was smoking weed and wax and shit, but I ain't doing no drugs in the county till like right after Nip died. I tried a suboxone strip, then I tried some black, and I just was getting loaded. And uh, I ain't give a fuck. I would feel like if, you know, when you're in jail and you gotta take these daily fades, like you might not wanna be, you know what I'm saying? And a nigga uh, coming uh, there while I'm off the black. Man, I'm poking your bitch at Man, it ain't no rules. It ain't no rules. And, uh, obviously, if I'm getting high, I'm comfortable. And can't nothing happen to me. I ain't gonna get high around a gang of ops. You know what I'm saying? That's the wrong setting. Dead homies. I might have withdrawals and all that. Take that type of energy over there. You get what I'm saying? Like, no way possible. I'm just finna be loaded with a gang of niggas. Like, if a nigga come fuck with me while I'm loaded, you getting stabbed. You see, I'm in my own zone. Leave me the fuck alone. If I ain't came to you and banged on you, just be happy. It, sit your ass on your bunk, go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because if a nigga get while well, I'm irritated like that, nigga, feeling himself, and you talk about some gang bang, like, yeah, that's what you want to do? Come on. We're going to go to the back. Fuck it. We go, come on, we got a fade for you. Stop playing. Go get in the shower, nigga. Don't snitch. Wipe that blood off. Go rinse it off, nigga. That's how niggas playing. Have you ever had any bad experiences doing drugs? Where at? In or inside or outside? Man, way. I, I, man I've been popping mollies and ecstasies my whole life. Hell yeah, I don't know. I done died 20 times, it felt like. <laughs> I ain't never went out. They had to bring me back or nothing, but man. I be telling motherfuckers, look, these kids today, they trying to fight. I was like, I don't think fentanyl could kill us, bro. Not us. You know what I'm saying? Man, we was, and listen, this is how me and my friends be playing because I don't want to put the wrong message out to the world. Like, these niggas is pussy. They keep passing out on fit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I be like, man, nigga, we used to be high. Nigga, you better learn how to fight. Now, many times I almost been close to death. You better take your shirt off, lay on something cold. That motherfucker post some cold. I shock your ass back. Nigga, post some ice on you. Nigga, put some ice in your nuts. You gonna have to figure it out. I done been in some fucked up situations. Like, oh, 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 oh
I pour a cold water straight on my nuts to shock myself. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't been drugging long enough. Leave that shit alone. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know how to snap back when it's ugly, nigga, fall back. You don't got no pain in your body. Why is you taking a pain pill? You get what I'm saying? Like, then it's like, nigga, you in middle school, high school, popping Percocets. Who the fuck is getting them for you? Because they got to be fake. Ain't nobody giving no little kid that type of dope. Mm. The doctor's not. Niggas in the hood, they not just finna. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't that important for them. But like, the niggas who really got that shit, like, man, they ain't finna serve no kid. So if a kid got that shit, of course you got all the printed up with them. The only people, the motherfuckers who don't give a fuck about what they putting out on the streets, they don't give a fuck what age you is either. You get what I'm saying? Like, man, these the pills, they cost it. You got the money, you got the pills. You get what I'm saying? It's some slime ball ass niggas out here that'll do it, though. I, I think I seen you talk about fake pills and fake drugs and, yeah, I, and stuff I, like that. Yeah, that shit kills me. Like, I, I, that's one thing. You can't, that's somebody else's body, dog. You don't really, uh, rolling 60s, like on the dead homies. That's another nigga body. Just like yours, you go give him some poison and poison him and fuck him off, like, and you know it's in there, like, I can see if y'all know. It's like, all right, there's a fake perk. I'm finna try to sell this nigga a fake perk like it's real. Now, it's people that want the fake ones over the real ones. And if they blap out on them, that's on them. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know some motherfuckers who be like, ah, where the mother was at? I'm like, yeah, the other ones ain't nowhere around, man. They ain't nowhere around me. They get, uh, yeah, I get high, but not that high, my guy. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. It's real. So there's dudes out there that they, they want the fentanyl. Hell yeah. It's a whole lot of super gremlins out there. The fuck you talking about? Damn. They knew the perk was fake. They still ate it. They had gremlin. You heard, you heard Kodak? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like shit, I didn't eat fake pills before and know that it was fake. I know that shit can't kill me. I just was, there, there ain't no telling what was in that shit when I was in the county. Really don't know. <laughs> we used to be like, man, if it make you sleepy, it got fit and all in it. <laughs> the dead of you. Yeah, that shit was the past time by though, on the hood. Make it go work out, yeah, whatever the case is. They, they could paint it, put it on every every website they want. I'm open with this shit. I'm not no dope here. I'm not gonna go back. I ain't never touching that shit. I'm too fly. Like I can't never do no shit like that on the street, ever. Yeah. And I wasn't shooting it up or nothing, cause motherfuckers got a fucked up imagination about the shit. I was actually like, yeah, you know I mean? put it with the water, poop poop. Okay. Some shit like that. I'm scared of needles, and I'm not letting. I'm not reusing no needle. Nothing like that. That's out. That's out. Hell yeah. I done been through some. I done been down some dark, dark ass hallways, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So you you thought like, damn, this this might be it? Nah. No. I always thought it can't kill me. Damn. Can't fuck with me. I'm bigger than a drug. <laughs> well, you mentioned Nipsey, man. Uh, what was the reaction when it came through, when when uh, you know the word first started going down down about Nipsey? I mean, it was it, like they asked. The, I answered this question a lot, but it just like the same way it was on the streets. Like every hood was fucked up. Like everybody was fucked up. Like and then like when they started hearing on the phone that his name was shitty niggas was looking at me fucked up like oh that's your homeboy or like how the fuck i was right here with you yesterday motherfucker how the fuck i'm gonna tell him to do some bullshit like that you know what i'm saying like i don't have you know what i'm saying that's my boy like i i went that shit put me through like i was crying tears after tears at first then when i called back in and they told me who it was it's like all oh, the tears stopped like damn like, this shit's bullshit. Like, how the fuck he do that shit? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, man, what the fuck is going on? Like, I know that type of shit didn't just take place while I was in here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit have a nigga stomach fucked up, like, ready to throw up. Like, come on, bro. Like, 
just you being my little bro, you should have started cuz. You should have started cuz off the rip. Just off of you being my little bro, you getting into it with a nigga that you know I give a fuck about, you should have thought twice. You should have been like, fuck it. My big bro gonna be hurt if I do some shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't give a fuck about the community. You didn't give a fuck about nothing. Cause was you knew that like 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 and this is another thing. Like, you knew that rumor was in the hood. Cause I didn't tell on nobody, but that shit been on the streets. You know, like, you know that shit been around. So it's like that ain't the first time you heard that shit. That's the last time you wanted to hear that shit. He was fed up with that shit, so it's probably why he, you know what I mean? You keep on telling the nigga, oh, didn't you tell, didn't, like, bro, I bet you don't nobody else ask me that. You know, like, you gotta think that nigga was in the hood with his shirt off, already on one. Blue rag on, all that. Why is you even talking to this nigga about this shit, man? Who even walks around the hood with no shirt on to let a nigga know he don't got no pistol on him and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, cuz. Cuz was already on some, on some twike thought ass shit. Just gotta pay attention to the whole play. Just look at it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he fucked up in the head at the time, too. Uh, yeah, I heard, uh, you know, there was always those rumors about him that, that uh, he might have had, like, some mental issues or something like that. Nah, he had brain surgery, though. Oh. Some shit that happened. He got to a fight for brain swelled up and all that. They stumped him out. You know what I mean? Damn. And, uh, so he had brain surgery. And, uh, and that that's what, that's what started the mental shit in and out of the hospital and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mental hospitals and all that. He probably, that with the drugs probably wasn't no good combination. You don't know what the fuck going on. Once once he had made it that far down the line and I used to see him off the drugs, I had been cut him off though. Yeah. I been learning how to love from a distance. That was my little nigga, but it's like, I, you, I, you a liability. You no longer an asset. You didn't let the drugs whoop you. You know what I'm saying? You're a liability, you can't be around me. I'm not gonna be reliable for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That shit just how the, how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Can he like, like being around him and, and you know, having the, the brain, you know, surgery and everything, do you think that that could have made him just like, just go off like that or? Cuz is a nut, either way it go. He a nut, so it's like that. Yeah, that fucked it up some more. That nigga's crazy, regardless though. Like everybody know that about that little nigga. Yeah. It don't take too much to get his little ball rolling. A nigga, once he get to tweaking out, it's like, like me and the pack of niggas I grew up with, the only niggas that could tell cause what to do. Cause been fighting big homies and all that. Niggas telling tell what to do. He been going for what he know. You know what I mean? I seen there's a documentary coming out about Nipsey Hussle. Did you see that? I think it just, uh, yesterday there was yeah, a, uh, the first his, promo clip. It was on his page, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, do you know anything about this? Anything you could talk about? Nah. No. Shout out the Marathon and all that TMC, all money in. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? But you know, ever since Nip died, I ain't really been in contact with too many people. So I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? I talked to Cobby Stone, Hoggy. I talked to everybody, but you know, other people take shit different ways and you got to let them deal with their pain how they deal with their pain. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like, I just know, know the feeling. I lost my brother when I was 13. My only real blood brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got two brothers that's damn near my blood. They've been with me since we was babies. My mama been with the, fucking with their dad since we was kids. So. But my only blood brother, I lost him when I was 13, and that turned me in to what I was, like, as far as, like, all right, fuck it, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Like, bro, ain't, I don't got my brother. I'm finna go crazy. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I know it how you, like, this is the way, but I was young. I couldn't really separate. It made me fall in to the arms of the street. 
But if I was older, I probably would have separated too. You get what I'm saying? But not probably from the streets though. But then you got to think, Sam, and it ain't no bad thing, Sam ain't from rolling 60s like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never been put on, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that the hood failed his brother, he, he ain't fucking with niggas, and you got to respect it. You got to respect it. Let them do what they doing, you know what I'm saying? When you come back around, it's always love, open arms, you get what I'm saying? Like, But it ain't no way you could tell somebody to deal with their pain. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You keeping his name alive, I'm a support. I don't give a fuck if you ever call in, like, you know what I'm saying? I love you. He know, he know what my love is for them. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, just is what it is, man. You gotta let everybody deal with their pain, how they deal with their pain. You know what I'm saying? When y'all come back around, like, Black Sam is the one who mended our relationship back together, me and Nipsey. Like, we had fell out before, fought and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my boy. You know, you get to it, your boy, you gonna fight your boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I used to still be pulling up, buying weed from Sam in the morning. And he like, nigga, he like, man, what the fuck is he doing? Like, you need to holler at your boy. I'm like, man, how at him? I ain't tripping. He like, he like, oh, y'all both on y'all ego shit. I told him the same shit. He said the same thing. So when I, when he, when he was saying that shit or whatever the case was, I DM, bro, like, what up, nigga? I'm like, come on, cuz. I'm like, bro, I just squabble with everybody that I love, bro. I was sick, so, like, nigga, I love you. Where you at? He like, fuck you, nigga. I ain't mad at you. But it's just, we had to break the silence. But Sam is the one that was pressing us, like, nigga, if y'all don't get it together, like, what the fuck is y'all doing? And it was back on. As soon as I started tapping back in, I'm back on road with him, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, that situation too got his pack of niggas like, we ain't fucking with him. Like you fought Nipsey before, nigga. Anybody that ever did something, you know what I'm saying? We ain't fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like I can see that too. Like, but if a motherfucker read our DMs and text messages and replayed our phone calls off the jail phone and all that, we wasn't even, like that shit is minute. Nobody was even, we wasn't even on that type of time. You get what I'm saying? But it's just, you can't tell nobody how to deal with their pain. And I understand that shit, so I don't try to force people. But they still got me in their corner, you know what I'm saying? When y'all come up out the, out, the, out the clouds and out the, you know what I'm saying? I'm still right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna condone nigga and cowgirl and what he did. You know what I'm saying? I never accept that. They didn't accept it though. They don't fuck with cuz. That's another nigga that's just running around lying on Instagram and lying like, bro, you, you, if you was that much, you'd be a Nipsey Will, nigga. Just like everybody else that's straight forever off a of Nipsey name. You get what I'm saying? Why you ain't straight? If you did all that for shit for Nipsey, that you keep lying to the world and all that, man, the little nigga look like you. You gave him your name. You was rapping at the time, man. You took him to the studio a couple times. Only reason you was around because you a reformed crackhead. Cuz seeing that you stopped smoking dope, he paid you to stop smoking dope. You stopped. He kept you around. You could clean up the shop. That's just what smokers do. You get what I'm saying? Lock the door at nighttime. That's what a smoker do. You could come to some of the shows. Your favorite J Cat, nigga, you could come to the show. Like, that's his favorite smoker. You know what I'm saying? It just happened to be cuz Big Homie. That nigga ain't did nothing for that nigga career, but he stood strong on Nip name afterwards. That's why when I came home, I didn't know that shit. I didn't know he told. Like, I got pictures on my Instagram that Kev Mac took of me at the marathon shit. Like, he was the one holding the phone. Like, I just ain't went into that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was the one. You talk about you don't know me. Bitch ass nigga. Nigga, you was just. You know, and it's crazy when I was talking to him that day. That shit crazy, cause you could, you could kind of tell that he did some bunk shit, but it was already out. You know what I'm saying? But I was in jail, so I never read all that shit. So when I seen it, he was on the stand point. I'm like, whoa! I'm like, that nigga watched me grow up. You telling? That's like that man. My mama fucked me up for telling on my sister, bro. Like I like my brother at the like my boy my, my day one had to tell me like hey bro, the reason why we fit in with the streets so fast like cause we got all that shit from home training we was raised by gangsters. 
just because they wasn't gangbangers, they was still doing it. You know what I'm saying? We was raised by gangsters, so it's like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Don't tell. Like, nigga, the first time, nigga, catching cases and all that, nigga, mom tell the nigga, like, man, shut the fuck up. Talking on the phone, like, don't tell me what the fuck happened. Like, it don't matter what happened at this point. Let us get you a lawyer. We gonna holler when you get out. But no, mom, man, shut the fuck up. You get what I'm saying? Like, even my boy, he just had to remind me, like, damn. Uh, six, so that shit been instilled in us for so long. You ain't gonna tell on your brothers and sisters and all that shit. You gotta treat the streets just like you treat the house. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy. But yeah, Nip, I'm always gonna be in this corner. And everybody that's in this corner, I'm gonna fuck with. But, you know what I'm saying? Not if you cross the rules of, of, of the street code I live by and you from the same shit, I can't fuck with you. What would Nip say if if he. Seen that nigga tell it? Yeah. That nigga was like this. That nigga was rolling in his grave, cuz. Oh, six, son. That nigga was like a rotisserie in that motherfucker. Nip, that man, never in a million years. If that's the case, shit, he would have been condoning and telling, like, it don't matter who the fuck it was. Listen, you didn't, and the crazy part is, you fucked yours off over some shit that the police already knew. Your bitch ass just want to sit on the stand and, and reassure him. Like, that man was going to jail, regardless. Kev Mack, did you think Kev Mack's testimony is the reason why he didn't go to, I mean, the reason why he got found guilty? Me? No, did I you think that the chick, the chick was the... It was all type of people and no. cameras, man. Let the police do their job. You get what I'm saying? They already had him. It was good. Shut the fuck up. Like, not like that, because if you wanted to do something to him, Everybody trying to act like they didn't know. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, y'all know where Cuz grew up at. Y'all know where he live at. Like, come on, man. We all know where everybody at, nigga. We grew up together. You know what I'm saying? Sam didn't condone, it, condone in that shit, for sure. Because anybody that said something in the dark, they went to trial. They would have to say it in the light, no matter what they said. Out of anger, why they crying. If they would have talked to the police, they would have had to stand on it. You get what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck what what emotion you was going through when you told, man. Run that back what you told us. That's what they want to do. Go ahead and make a mockery out of yourself. Go sit over there in the box. And say it again. So do you see him in this courtroom? That had to be the worst. However many words that is in the world they told him. Like, do you see the person? It was over when you did that. You know what I'm saying? Go get your badge. Yeah, they had, um, you know, I believe, I want to say six months or a year before they had the uh, the pre-trial or they, they, you know, they brought everybody in. And I, I remember seeing seeing it on the Internet. They have a, a like a court channel where they like go through all the transcripts and everything. And, yeah. You know, it, it was a uh, I just remember seeing it. That's interesting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, you know, like I said, you can't, and that goes back to you cannot tell a person how to deal with their pain. But for every action, it's a consequence. No good deed goes unseen. Like, point blank period. You get what I'm saying? For every action, it's a consequence, whether it's good or bad. They've been telling you that forever. You know what I'm saying? You do something good, you might get rewarded as money and all that. You do something bad, you know what come next. Like, but you can't deal, you know what I'm saying? That's how he was dealing with his pain at the time. But that, you now you separated yourself from the section too. I mean, it's going to be some people that smile at you that don't give a fuck what the fuck you're doing because they live in their life way different now. You know what I'm saying? So he might not have felt the pressure. You know what I'm saying? Cause motherfuckers don't even like nigga know not to talk to no snitch and all that the old nigga and all that. It's just coming from nigga, we from the same block and I got a platform I had to speak on it. Cause you got a platform and you feed these people lies and all that shit. Like, I don't lie to them. You talk about find you another artist to develop and you gonna do the same thing you did with Nipsey. What did you do? Cause nigga draws took him to get his first deal, so nigga. Big U took him to get it. What did you do? Steve Lil Bill and Big U took him to, to the to the big house. What did you do for him? How did you develop his career? How did you make him a better rapper or a better person? I'm willing to listen. I want to know that story. Point blank period. I just want to know. It might be true. I got to, you got to tell me how because I've been around too. 
You got to think, my cousin is Kid Ink, nigga. He produced Bullets, ain't got no name, one or two. Rocket Ship Shorty, that was his producer name. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been around, bro. Before he was even fully saying that he was doing this crib shit for, for real. Like, I've I been around. Like, you know what I'm saying? When they was just running around him, Rempa and all them just rapping. I've been right here. So, it ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's not too much you could get past me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, do you know the whole thing was, you know, just kind of surprising from yeah. the outside? You yeah. Know, looking in, man, you know. Yeah, um, it is what it is. It's the biggest nigga to die from the West Coast ever. Yep, I said it. There were, yeah, yeah, ever. man. Nipsey, uh, my it, boy wasn't from was the West crazy. Coast. He just represented us. Who you talking about, Park? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just came over here. That really was the East Coast on East Coast beef. He he was so powerful. He had all of us there with him on that beef. Sure did. You got to think that was a crazy maneuver. Like you ain't even from LA. You got the whole LA on their rockers. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he represented LA so powerfully like it stood on it to where everybody had to follow follow suit because you the face of LA right now yeah man it I mean Tupac came and started you know repping LA with the living to live and die in LA and all that he shit. had I mean throwing up the dust man the dub, I mean, all that he was the he was the mascot for this shit yeah he was the mascot but shit Nip was the biggest nigga from the west coast to die out here so yeah, for sure. I mean, he lived in Oakland, I think. When did he move to Oakland? I think high school? Somewhere in high school. You you, uh, uh, you, from down here, you know that's two different states. <laughs> Man, you know that's two different states. I fuck with my bay niggas in my sack niggas. You know, that's eight hours. Bro, that's two different states. We don't even have the same lingo. We don't dress the same or nothing. The culture is different. It's way different. But, uh, I mean, we, we all, we all Cali niggas at the end of the day. We go. But. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. It's a. Uh, I've kind of been following Nipsey, you know, from the early stages of his career, man. And I really fucked with his music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm always, I've always like a West Coast dude. You know what I'm saying? So I always yeah. loved the West Coast music, yeah. man. And uh, you know, just seeing his progression, man. And you know, he passed away, and then all these, you know, positive things about him started coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like uh all the stuff he did for the community and people that he helped and you know what I'm saying like he was this this caring person man and you know we didn't even know none of that it you a know profit in the flesh yeah yeah man it and, and you know I mean I, I pay attention to hip-hop pretty good yeah you know and, and I never seen none of this stuff coming out man and uh, you know man it was just such a huge loss man I mean I, you know for, you know for his family first and friends you know what I'm saying but just for hip hop and the West Coast, man. You know what I'm saying? Besides just the music, man. That shit you know? gave the West Coast a black eye. I feel like, I feel like, you see what happened when P and B died. Like, oh, that's what they do out there. Oh, they kill their homeboys. Oh, that's what they broke ass niggas do. Ooh, whoop, like, oh, fuck Cali niggas. They can't come nowhere. Like, like we really just got out of purgatory for nigga big dying out here. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like we just got out of jail for that shit. Like we just bonded out, we let Diddy move out here, we didn't whack him. You know what I'm saying? Even though Diddy a gangster too. Diddy, Diddy's a gangster. Diddy's a gangster. That Diddy. nigga lives in LA. After all that shit, that nigga resides right here. Goaded. Did you see him about to fight, dude? I oh. ain't see that shit, but nigga, you came back to L.A. after the murders. I right, go ahead with what you was about to say, but I ain't see that shit. I just go off of I, I move like that. So for a motherfucker to make that statement up under a nigga nose, and I ain't trying to be messy. I fuck with you, Diddy. So don't nobody try to take it and be messy off this motherfucker. For a motherfucker to come from the East Coast and know that it was on, but really should died out though. Should was watered down, like, and it started showing that he was watered down, and it was water, water, water. 
you know what I'm saying? He had the bag. He had he did bring a lot of gangsters together and get them jobs and had a gang of gangsters around him and they was doing what he say, some real ones. You get what I'm saying? Where they had the city sold up, big old linebacking, penitentiary ass niggas. <sighs> five, six plates, you know what I'm saying? Uh, or four or five, I ain't gonna say five or six, but you know what I mean, the real tookie type niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? The Bloods got them, Crips got them. But he had Crips and Bloods on the same page. He was feeding both, like, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing, but after the, the Tupac shit and the Biggie shit, then he went to the, what, he went to jail in the middle of that shit? Then he got sued. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, should. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If Suge uh, would have still had a bag, Puff, Puff wouldn't have moved out here. But yeah. now it's like, boy, I get you murked on your own territory. Watch how you talk to me. Watch how you talk to me, nigga. Because I spend this shit, you know what I'm saying, like it's a motherfucking bottle top. Fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? You got to respect it. You got to respect it, nigga, when you into it with them niggas with money. That's what niggas don't understand. I'm into it with niggas with money. So it's like, nigga... Make your move, though. Nigga, yeah, on the hood. I'm moving like that, so just, nigga, on the hood, I drive with my pistol in my hand. I'm sick, so, nigga, that's on my babies, nigga. Nigga, my baby will tell you. On the hood, that motherfucker don't go up. I don't put it up, so, nigga, just know what you pulling up on, nigga. Dead armies. Yeah, Puffy's a fool, man. Like, people, people might not know, but, you know, he... Rumors are that he beat up Drake once, and another time Jay Z had to pull them apart. He probably do. That light skinned nigga be pissing shit the fuck off. He, but then he might be fighting Drake because he keep fucking all his bitches. <laughs> Drake a nasty dealer, boy. He a nasty dealer. I fuck with Drake, boy. Well, uh, I don't know. I just was with Drake in twenty one at twenty one birthday party. And shout out to Four L twenty one and all that. We was just at the freak nick together, and they got that mink old man. Keep it a player for all the light-skinned niggas. <laughs> Keep it a light-skinned. I fuck with Drake, though, because he know how to move. You don't hear Drake name in the middle of nothing. No extortion, no fuckery, no nothing. No, no, he don't be in nobody's face. He don't need nobody in order for them to need him. You know what I'm saying? He know how to move. They need to take notes from Drake. Yeah, I mean, you know, but, you know Drake got so much man, money, Drake though, man. Drake was living out here when he didn't have all that money. Didn't nothing happen to him when he didn't have the money. Like the spider log shit happened to Lil Wayne, didn't happen to Drake. Mm. Drake not pulling down them boulevards to begin with. Drake don't want to come to Crenshaw Sauce. Drake don't want to go to Bompton. He don't want to go to Compton. He don't want to see no Crips, no Bloods, or what they hood look like. Why do you want to see what our hood look like if you ain't from over here, man? This is the trenches. It's not the fucking tourist zone. You know what I'm saying? You come down here too many times to take pictures. Motherfucker gonna feel obligated to ask you for something. Like, you just keep coming down here like it's all good. Like, we all straight, bro. We not straight. We, you really fool. Like, you keep taking pictures with them chains and shit on the block. Like, you making it seem like we ain't on that. Like, mm. nigga, you got to kick in. What is you doing down here? Me, invite me to Hollywood to the studio. I could never tell you that I had your back. Because, nigga, why you taking these pictures with this jury on, nigga? It's a million niggas trying to get to you, standing right next to you, and whoever you with, like, nah. And then some niggas actually thinking, like, fuck it, I'm finna go for it. I'ma just beef with cuz, too, over that money. Like, fuck it, I'ma beef with this nigga, too. It ain't nothing. I'ma beef about 100,000 up. You know what I'm saying? They ain't thinking, man, nigga don't give a fuck. They want some more fitting on pills, man. They want some more of them fake joints, man. They having withdrawals, man. Give me that what's around your neck. I'm having withdrawal. I'm going to go to the jeweler. I'm going to cash out, give me 100000 and go buy me pints and perks and all type of shit. These niggas dope heads out here. Like, they ain't robbing niggas just to go buy some lean, some expensive-ass lean. A pint costs 3000 The perk costs $30. You buy you 100 of them, that's 3000 so what was we talking about? You know what I'm saying? These niggas out here off the fitting on, man. They have it like, you gotta think, for a young nigga body when he wake up in the morning, 
He wake up in the morning off them drugs. He think he take a real drug, but even at that, a uh, opioid the withdrawal from that shit is so crazy. The the, the withdrawal from an opioid is so crazy. If you not old enough to know that's what you, you feeling in your body while you shitting out water and sweating and going through a million motions, like just imagine the 14, 15 year old boy. How about how old was the little nigga that killed Pop Smoke or uh, or P and B? It was all like 16, Yeah, there was say 16, I think. And then the other one was like 17, that just, the, uh, the P&B shit. Yeah, yeah, the P&B. Him and yeah. his daddy was together. You yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, this is a cold zone, and they like, oh, his dad let him? Man, that ain't the only one-two combo in the city, man. A nigga been seeing the daddy-son shit. Niggas is sellies with each other. Like, nigga, this what goes on. You don't make it on the court or... How you ever you gonna make it in life, nigga? You gonna come right here back to the block and you gonna have the same name as me. I'm big wooty whoop, you gonna be tiny baby or infant. This what you doing. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna do it right. He probably pissed off the little nigga blew that pistol in there, but it's just like, all right, say you 15, 16 and you going through them type of withdrawals and you at school and shit and you, ugh, you throwing up and all that. And you got a pistol. You know, nigga, if you hit this nigga right here, all this shit going to change. If I go rob this nigga right here, I'm a back feeling like a player ready to rap and trap. And, you know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm feeling like a dope fiend, but I don't know I'm feeling like a dope fiend. So now, I'm, I can't control myself. That's why dope heads go to jail trying to get their next hit. Believe me, they might not even know that's what they're going through. You know, I'm a street scientist. That's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what's going on. Believe me, man. You know what I'm saying? It sound about right, right? It, it definitely does. <laughs> but yeah, man. Even if you're doing the real thing, that withdrawal crazy, and you got to have it the next day. Simple as that. Damn. Damn. Do you think checking in would have helped PNB Rock? Yeah. Yeah. But why niggas be saying checking in like this shit just like any when you go out of town, right? And you got family that you know, OT, you be calling them when you get off the plane, right? If I'm going to a family's a family or friend's house, yeah. Nah, just say you got your girl and y'all staying downtown, but your family from that state. And you go call in like, hey, we're from that city, like, hey, what's up? I'm in town. What, what, what's going on out here? Nah, nah. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to visit them, but if I'm not visiting them, I'm If I'm you're not, not visiting them, you ain't going to call your cousin to see what's good to eat, what's this, what what's the new tourist attraction and all that shit. Okay. Under that, under that That's situation. That's all checking in. All that shit is checking in. Like, nobody's telling you to come with a fucking... Oh, here's my first and last name, and here goes $20,000. Can I roam around your city? No. Call in. Hey, man, what's up? I'm finna go to Roscoe's on Manchester. Man, no, the fuck you not. Like, we don't eat right there. Go to the one in Hollywood. Or you want me to pull up with you? I right, pull up. But we ain't going on Manchester. Even if I pull up, we gonna find another one to go to. You get what I'm saying? Like, like checking in ain't what everybody think. It's like, all right, you in my city? All right. You need to move a certain way because we not the only people on that. It ain't just one group of niggas on that. Everybody on that. So if you don't know what's going on, then you fool. Like, if you don't know what's on the menu, then you on the menu. You get what I'm saying? If you can't read the menu, that means you a part of that motherfucker. I'm trying to tell you. You get what I'm saying? So a motherfucker got to, when you get to a city, like, but you don't move around with gangsters though, like too much. I don't know what you do, but you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say that you was the type that to get off the plane and be in the trenches. Like, but like, all right, if I get to a nigga city, like say I go to Detroit, I'm calling Vezo. Hey man, what's going on? I need some syrup, I need some pills, I need to know where the real ones, real pills at, I need some motherfucking weed. I need, you get what I'm saying? Like where to go? I'm not saying he serves that shit, but hey, where am I supposed to go? All right, I got my bitch with me. Where, where, where should, where should we go for the? Oh, don't go here, don't go there, man. Matter of fact, just take her to the casino, and have fun out the way, bro. I don't really want you in the hood at no strip club. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, Dirk used to do that for me all the time. Like, I'd get off the plane, and I'd be with Twin and all them. Hey, like, that nigga, don't take him to old block. Don't take him here. Don't. You get what I'm saying? Like, because he, he reliable for whatever goes there. He's responsible for whatever the fuck goes on with me because I'm his boy while I'm in his city. So until Cuz used to get to the city, wasn't no going to over there on 64th and 63rd, 61st. It wasn't none of that. I used to still go over there, but he used to get mad in the motherfucker, like, bro, what's up happened to you over there, bro? I'm be pissed off. Like, bro, stop going over there until I'm there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, but then you got to think. You don't know who your boy into it with in his own hood. And they might try to score on you because you over there and you representing him. You get what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers don't think ahead. So it's always good to check in and know what's going on. Like, even with the, I be telling my people, don't go shopping on Melrose and all that shit with all your shit on. You go, but don't wear no jewelry while you over there. Rodeo, all that shit, Beverly, that's not the cool spot. You might as well put that jewelry on and come to the hood. You want to wear the jewelry in L.A. Because at least everybody know you over here. And they know you fucking with somebody. They ain't really just going to move like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker ain't just finna blitz on you in the hood if you come announced. Now it's a million people that he disrespected when he do that. And he got an answer to it. It's just little shit. You just gotta, motherfucker gotta check in. Or don't. How about that? Fuck the check in. Don't nobody check in. It wouldn't make me or break me. I would give a fuck. I just be telling the motherfucker, you, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker want to see you doing good out here, man. You, you can be on the bad side of the stick, and I wouldn't give a fuck because I told you to check in. Like, it hurts. But shit, a nigga told you a nigga out here. Me and PB and Gunner got a song that we were supposed to put up. Me and Gunner had a tape coming out before he went to jail. I still got it in the cut. With P and B on there. P &B oh, shit. On there. So you got an unreleased song with him? Yeah. P and B on that motherfucker. Me and P and B real close. Damn. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So that probably hit you a little. Cause his his A and R from Atlantic was trying to sign me at one time and he had us together. Orlando, I think he just went somewhere else though. But yeah, we was so real that close. That hit you a little different than knowing. Yeah, that. like damn, you could have really called me and I really would have gave you some game, like. Motherfucker ain't, ain't holding it against him or nothing. It's just like, damn, nigga, you my boy. That one was kind of crazy. Even with the takeoff, it was like, shit, that's my boy. Speaking of takeoff, what was your reaction when you first heard about that? I, I, did, I did see that you had, you knew the Migos even before they got famous, right? Yeah, I've been knowing them since they were like 17. I remember when takeoff couldn't even come outside like that. And I have been uh, take uh, Quavo might have been eighteen and Offset. Offset was in jail when I first met them. Then Offset came home. He was fucking with us. Like we had the most lit studio slash spot in the city. Me a long way for years in Atlanta. Like everybody. Like if we would have signed everybody that came through there, we'd be like billionaires for sure. Between. Damn. Young Thug, Amigos, Gunna, Jose Guapo, Rich the Kid, uh, even all the BDs, like they came about Chief Keef, all I'm talking about all the BDs, Tato, Chief Keef, uh, ASAP crew, my boy Yams, that was my boy. Yams was my boy. If I'm not mistaken, you could go see, he followed me. He, he was following me before he died. And I ain't had nothing but Two, three thousand followers, five thousand. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I'm still uh, it's, it's still right there. I and mean, yeah, I could check to see. I'm saying, but that was my boy. He the one that when Yams told me he fucked with my music, I think I had dropped Double Cup Toast and Christmas on my mixtape, Son of a Brick Lady, my first mixtape. And he like, I'm fucking with the Christmas, I'm fucking with this. And then Bari, Velo, all them, they, all they, we was all regular thugging together. Like Ferg loved me because of Yams. You seen Ferg was in one of them pictures with me and Amigos. I haven't seen it. All right, so one of the pictures that I posted, uh, Ferg was in it. 
It was right, be and the crazy part is, it was right before I got this bird tatted. I probably got this shit like 2013, 14. That's why I like, I been locked in, like, you know what I'm saying? That shit just crazy out of bar roll. And I wasn't really into rap back then. Like, I wasn't dropping, like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't rapping like how I'm rapping now. I just was like in the streets. But they loved me because I was, you know what I'm saying? Outgoing. Yeah, you know how I go. Yeah. When, they, when motherfuckers can relate, they, they fuck with you. I seen that there was like a, a issue between Chief Keef and the Migos that you kind of helped. Yeah. What all happened with that? Uh, and I wouldn't say help, like them niggas was helpless. Uh, it's just, they my little bros and the BDs is my homies, like, uh, Fredo is my close friend. That's they big homie. You know what I'm saying? Fredo is Chief Keith and all them big cousin. So that was my boy. Them was my young niggas. This is when all the shit with before Cap got killed. Remember they got to a fight with Cap with Capo. Uh somebody from the Migo team ended up with Cap Chain, I wanna say, or they and vice versa, one of the two. And then Cap ended up dying right after that. Not due to that shit, but just on some old, whole other type timing, right? So I guess they was on offset because he was a GD and all the BD, GD shit. So, but <clears throat> I'm trying to see how it all went. All right, boom. So Capo ended up dying. So now you got to think, just like Link is hurt, my boy did. And then now y'all beefing. Y'all was beefing. So now we super on that. Y'all in LA. So it get down there, nigga. Y'all in LA. We live in LA, nigga. We trying to find y'all. So now I'm with the Migo. I catch wind. So I call Fredo, like, hey, where you at? I'm like, hey, bro, this shit finna be some bullshit. Like, check it out. You know they be with us while they out here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all my boys. Like, pull up to our session. Pull up. Me and Kid Ink was having a session. Like, pull up to the studio tonight, nigga. We gonna. Put it all together, we're gonna squash it. You know what I'm saying? But then when niggas pull it up, niggas is on they own agenda. Like niggas got blicks hanging out and all that. I'm dead homies, nigga. Hold on. I don't know what's going on, nigga. On six son, nigga shoot me, nigga. On, ugh, good luck trying to make it up out this motherfucker. I'm the dead homies. Like nigga, we ain't doing put all them up. Nigga, I'm on I'm on cuz. I'm on Fredo, like, hey man, clean that shit up. Like, nigga, we finna go inside. They chopped it up. Whatever they did, I let them little niggas. If they was gonna fight, they was gonna whatever they was gonna do, I let them little niggas chop it up. Boom. They grown men. They did what they did. It was squash right then. You know what I'm saying? That saved plenty lives. You know what I'm saying? Just on the crash out, you see how what the rap game turned into since then. So it's just like that shit saved plenty lives. Like, but you know it is what it is. Like I ain't gonna say it like my boys was helpless. Uh, yeah, them niggas, they was coming out, they was coming like they just got to a fight with Cap. I guess they packed him out, all that shit, but you know. Motherfucker just being a real nigga, just like, man, that shit is small. Like, it's some rap shit. Like, what is y'all really beefing over? You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody, ain't no blood shed over that shit yet, man. Leave it like that. Because nigga, blood can start shedding and it'll never end. That's how all these beats got locked in LA. You know what yeah, I'm saying? real talk. Well, uh, man, you know what? I, I remember just starting to get the news about Takeoff, man, and, <clears throat> you know, videos start coming out, man. And, you know, one of the things that, like, a lot of people would always say, or not always say, I mean, uh, they were saying about Takeoff is he was, like, the most coolest dude, yeah, uh, uh, laid-back yeah. dude, you know, that, like, uh, never yeah. tripped on nobody or nothing. Yeah, you knew it was an accident when they said Takeoff was there. Like, who the fuck? What, he get hit by a car? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, what happened? Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it said the shooting, though, but it's like, that ain't the way you would think that nigga was going to die. You get what I'm saying? Like, he too he too, he too, too solid and smooth. Like, he don't argue with people. Like, he wouldn't have never got to the point to where, well, I don't say he would have never got, but it's just like he ain't argumentative to be at outside at a function and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? get into it with a motherfucker to make him want to kill him. That shit was crazy, though. I ain't gonna speak too much on that because it's like a 
it's probably still sensitive for them. You know what I'm saying? But got to watch how you talk to people when you in their hood. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. You have to, first of all, I'm not on, I'm not speaking on any side. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know the Prince family trying to prove their innocence and everybody trying to, so I'm not speaking on any side, but there's two pointers that, that I got for those for that situation. Watch how you talk to another man. Don't disrespect another man. You treat it, you respect everybody like you want it. You know what I'm saying? Do on others what you want done to you. And that's for real. Like, from my littlest homie up to my biggest homie, I treat them the same. So just that alone, you respecting a motherfucker like, you got to respect them like they you. So what I'm saying is, and Quay, you my boy, you don't tell nobody, let you get on before you hurt somebody in this motherfucker while you in they hood at they function. First and foremost, that's a no-no. You control them words. Even if you want to hurt somebody, just go ahead and hurt them because at this point you got a gang of egos. So if you're going to hurt something, just go ahead and hurt them. Don't say it because now you got everybody on their tippy toes. Or if you didn't mean that, you got to watch what you say in front of people. You get what I'm saying? Because everybody is, it's like a big egotistical thing. Like, hurt who? Now you got to show me that you can hurt me. You get what I'm saying? Then that's the first pointer. The second pointer that I got out of this, and that's just me studying it, me just looking at what's going on, not speaking on either side of the fence. You know what I'm saying? When a motherfucker is that you invited to your hood, that got stat like a star, when they in your hood or in your, around you, you don't let them argue with none of your friends. You don't let them argue with nobody around. You know what I'm saying? You got to be the bigger person because you got them out of their comfort zone. So you got to check your homeboys because this your homeboy. And if you plan to do business or whatever the fuck you got going on, they got to make it home. Just how they came. Because they came with you. So that shit should have been nipped in the bud as soon as the argument started. And it looked like somebody was trying to nip it in the bud, then extra shit got said. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, you got to check that shit, that coat check. You invite a nigga out to your hood and all that. If he get, it don't matter if he get pissy drunk, tired of the motherfucker, you got to make sure he's straight. If he start getting out of control, send him home in the car. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it get to where now your boys want to shoot it out with your superstar homeboy. Like, you going to make it bad for motherfuckers to want to come around you. Now it's like, you know what I'm saying? But that's just what it is. It ain't nothing like that. Nigga ain't. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just dig too deep. Like, he right, he wrong. That's an open case. I don't know who did what. You know what I'm saying? So just let it be open. But, nigga, them the pointers I got out of that situation. Like, man, he shouldn't have did this. And, man, there shouldn't even have been no argument. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got yeah, it. it just seems like a lot of the deaths in hip-hop are just, like, just so You just got to know how to be a leader. You can't just put you know? anybody in no seat as a leader and just expect them to lead this shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to really put somebody that got experience in the field. If you ain't got experience in the field, because you got to kind of, like, I mean, you can still be a leader, but it's like, have experience in that field you're trying to lead. Yeah. Man. I hear you, man. That's that's for sure, man. Well, you know, rest in peace, take off, man. Uh, yeah, that's my brother, you rest know, in peace. Uh, just another, another. I've been with the, with they whole, all they whole, boy, all, every day, they're my people, so. Man, yeah, take. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Sometimes God do shit to to show niggas what you ain't supposed to do. Like even though it's, the sacrifice is heavy, but it's like you know what I'm saying. Now y'all lost a great person. Everybody, all of us, lost a great person over some bullshit. So a motherfucker probably watch the bullshit they do from now on. I hate that my boy had to be the example for it, but you know what I'm saying. Now it's like, damn, do we really gotta go here because somebody could get killed. I always know that. Like, I know that a motherfucker can get smacked. So I be like, I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. Let's just get to smacking. I be on the, let's just get to smacking because it's getting there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't with all that other shit. So it's like, man, please don't come around me with the argumentative and all that chest poking because I be just on some cool, 
human being type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm not finna tell you. I'm gonna fight you. I ain't gonna tell you it's coming or nothing, man. Know you know what's coming. You, you you barking up this this tree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, especially with the, it seems like the way things are going, man. It's like, uh, you know, less and less uh, fighting or, you know, if the fight go down, it seems like people are just uh, fitting on. They they ready to go. Uh, fitting so don't on. Make no sense to, <laughs> don't make no sense to take no chances. It ain't. I mean, it don't. If you got to put your hands on somebody, you might as well. You ain't going to keep on fighting them every time you see them. That's how I look at it. You might as well go ahead and get him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, keep your hands to yourself. Shit, it's easy. Kindergarten teacher taught you that. Yeah, get out of there before it. Uh, <laughs> too. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, not long after this happens, man, videos started coming out, and uh, academics <laughs> hops on. Uh, I believe it's Twitch or or you one know online one joint. of them i think it was twitch or one of them yeah and, and he starts you know going through breaking down the video and going through the video uh <laughs> the photos and you know going to guys' instagram that's pages that shit lame as hell act i can't respect it can't respect it i um, six so i didn't know i don't really watch him i ain't know that's what he was doing on every case he do that all the time I think that's the first time I've seen him do it. Yeah, everybody's like, oh, he does this, he does, oh, you know, he's like, nah, bro, that ain't right. Like, and then the crazy part is, you listening to TMZ is, now you got the wrong shooter. Look how it come out. Mm. That, that, it's like seven different stories. So it's like you ran with one story and you just helped them put out a warrant for this nigga. You know what I'm saying? That came with them or whatever the case is, if he did or if he don't. Supposedly, they showed pictures of them together before that, you know what I'm saying? And he was there, so it's like, like, damn, you pausing it. That goes back to the Kev Mac shit. Let the police do their job. Unless you getting a check from them to do your job, then you a cop. So now you doing your job. But let it be known, show your badge number, man. Stop, stop, stop railing shit up. Stop putting shit on the hot, hot fryer for a nigga to go to jail, man. This shit ain't no fucking game out here. Like, motherfuckers think this shit is just all fashion, like, you know? Like, and then it's like, all right, you pointed that man out, right? <laughs> he ain't in jail yet. So now what if the next time you see him right outside your office for not minding your business? Because mm. you hosting them interviews, you didn't, he cool with a lot of niggas you done interviewed. So he off the record, all that shit got to get recorded somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, like leave that shit alone. Like, you dug too deep. Like, all right, commenting on it, that's one thing. Give her your opinion on it. But all that helping with TMZ. Like, Harvey, we know what side of the fence Harvey on. He fucks with the police. TMZ, he, what was he, an ex-DA, ex-something? I'm not sure. Yeah, that nigga fucks with the police. He was a lawyer or something. Yeah. Uh, he's on a, yeah, or something. yeah, he was like a defense attorney or a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Like, he fucks with, he lives by the code. Every time that he does it, he goes by the law. Oh, yeah, this, that, and other. All right, cool. If you decide to watch that from there on out, then you know what Harvey on. But you got too much, too many real niggas coming in your face to be playing one foot in, one foot out with that shit and they're still ordering up niggas on interviews because your platform. Like, yeah, protect hip hop, protect black art. You don't know what the fuck happened. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. You don't know what happened. You, like, got motherfuckers all on their rocker. Let them, let the man rest and get him together. You know what I'm saying? Or if the police gonna get him, I just don't be with that police activity. Y'all ain't gonna lie to you. All the other shit is smart. Lee, let the police do their job. I'm fire, I'm standing firm on that, and I don't be liking when motherfuckers do the police job for them. Yeah, that shit is <laughs> they, that shit kind of crazy, man. That the fans nowadays, because they they like they know everybody, right? So yeah. the fans, like if if they're fans of an artist, they know their friends. They know everybody. They know their girlfriends. Stalkers because motherfuckers keep putting it on Instagram. Them. Yeah. 
So so they, you know, they doing the job for the police mm -hmm. because the police don't know. And they getting the police to get a raise just for looking on YouTube. Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. All right, now following up on that. They not giving them people pays. They found out on no fucking raise with them. Right. But you just put them up in the ranking. They just found the murderer, nigga. That's like, nigga, you know what that is in the police community? Like, oh, they found, nigga, that's the big mystery. The murder, robbery, homicide, right? Yeah, that's, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, that, that's the bonus. Yeah. And y'all helping them. They ain't getting shit. Yeah. Same yeah, nigga man. that locked your daddy up. Motherfucker that don't got no daddy on Instagram commenting on that because they daddy ain't been there to show him. I'm like, hey, man, you don't do that. You get what I'm saying? You putting the case together, you know what I'm saying? Because they daddy in the pen because another motherfucker that already did that to that dad. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't think that deep. Like, man, the reason why you growing up with no parents, I ain't, it ain't everybody but shit, nigga, is because of snitch or a motherfucker that helped motherfucking police. The police took your dad to jail or took your people to jail too, motherfucker. And they, when you, when you got to go sit in court for that ticket, just remember that same bitch ass police, the one that pulled you over and got you going through this nigga pad for over your blinker being out. A hardship where he could have gave you a pass. The police don't fuck with you. They don't give a fuck who you are. Right, you think Period. you're helping the police Period. or whatever, but they Man, they, they pull they, with they you. pull another cop over if they can. That motherfuckers don't give a fuck about nothing but that infraction and in, in that conviction, man. That's all. Yeah. Period. Well, uh, speaking of the police, man, uh, Charleston White. <laughs> Throw that ass. ass in the circle. Hey. <laughs> oh, his video. <laughs> <laughs> he was shaking that stanky leg again. Yeah. yeah, it's Charleston White leg. Since our last interview, man, he uh, he actually called the detectives on you. <laughs> that man is crazy, my boy. That man is sick. Yeah, he, he called. Sick. He was like, "Brick baby's uh, looking yeah, for me." Yeah, He's yeah, in yeah, Dallas. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, first of all, let me tell you how fraud he is. He calls the man off of one call, so you got the police number saved. You, it goes straight through. Then you cry your heart out to the police, man, whoever the fuck it is that you cool with, whoever you got. And he say, oh, yeah, let me see what I can do. I'm going to call. I thought you was calling the people. He, your man's got to figure out what he can do. I ain't doing nothing wrong. You can't troll no gangster, nigga, because I'm going to troll the fuck out of you. I'm, a, I'm willing to do, nigga, some shit you ain't willing to do because it really ain't that life threat that you just scared to do the shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga. I ain't gonna threaten that man about it. I see what he what what his fuel is, but he running around threatening everybody on the internet and then calling the police on them like man, that man just losing his mind. Then he talk about I'm out here in Los Angeles and I ain't check in with a bitch ass man. You hiding somewhere behind it? Did you see that location he was like? Can you name anything from right there? Nope. Like you can't name where the fuck is you at, and then we don't want you to check in, man. We ain't asking the cops to check in. You check in at the station, nigga. They can go to the glass house, go downtown, go. To, you know what I'm saying? They can go check in at the station, Keyway. Nigga don't want nothing to do with you, my boy. Oh, the hood, man, homie, stay your ass somewhere else. All right. That shit crazy though. Charleston White, one hell of a dude though. I respect it. I respect this movement. Just don't come nowhere around me. I got to pop you in the back of your head one time. You know what I'm saying? Well, they say he shot himself. Yeah, he, I, that, I, that I, white leg pack. We we smoking on that all week when he shot himself. Yeah, and then he tried he tried to deny it, but I I think he just didn't shoot himself that bad. I think he just grazed through. Right. Yeah, you know I'm saying because it's like you try you know that's some goofy ass shit to do, but you so nervous. Then he shot himself the same week I was in town. I said, what you mm. thought you seen the wrong dress it go across your face? Nigga, so scary, though. That'd be like scary niggas just clutching and be spooked. You so scared, you don't even know your finger around the trigger. Like, nigga, you digging in your pocket, you digging on your waist, you got your gun, you got to be careful. You got to be careful, bro. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I can't coach a nigga through being, you know what I'm saying? That come with experience, you know what I'm saying? But he is a hell of a... And then he used to be a crip. You doing all of this and you used to want to be from 60s. Mm. 
Like when a snitch get found out, they just go against everything. It's like, come on, man, you knew that wasn't gonna work because you had paperwork since juvenile. You know what I'm saying? You knew once you start getting bigger on the internet, that shit was gonna come out, man. So you start denouncing the throne and talking bad about gangbangers. And that's what you used to be, nigga. And like I always say, if you was trying to help the black community, nigga, you would see a motherfucker that's dissing ops and killing everybody and you go over there and help that man to, to change. You try to make him change, you don't call the police or you don't fucking clown him because he might, what if he got a nigga, he a serial killer, what if he's a mental health problem? Like Jeffrey Dahmer or something, like nigga, that shit just because it's a different form, like nigga, a serial killer is a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with plenty of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I once I found out what a serial killer was, I was like, oh, shit, my boy got about ten hats, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Same style, same way. Was he addicted to it? Was he addicted to it? Like you know what I'm saying? He might have been, cause he damn sure was a repeat offender. You know what I'm saying? Like I know niggas that really smoke sherm and kill. They don't want no sack or nothing. They don't want to hustle or nothing. Kill switch. Call me when it's kill switch time. Other than that, I'm gonna be on this water, this powder, this old English, cooling. I don't know how you could cool on that shit, but <laughs> cooling, you feel me? <laughs> so also, since our last interview, man, um, I guess Chris Brown DM'd you. Nah, he texted me. Text you? Yeah. What, what, what all happened with that? Uh, <laughs> Who started that? Uh, Say G? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know. He was mad because he think a motherfucker, like, he think he can just get into it with real niggas and we just keep it under the wraps because you Chris Brown. Like, nigga, you know how many times me in and got into it to where I was just like, fuck it, bro. You, That's the drug. Keep on making you flip in and out uh, whatever going on. Like, fuck you, nigga. If it's spilled milk, it's spilled milk, nigga. On the other, don't try to use my name when it's time to use my name, nigga. Run around telling niggas you love me and all that. Man, fuck all that. It's on the floor. I don't fuck with you. I'm telling you why. You a smoker. You be on all type of dope. Nigga, I don't fuck with niggas like that that can't control they dope. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when you're not a liability, if you're no, no longer an asset and you're a liability, I don't know what the fuck to expect from you the next time I see you. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to just let it be known. I'm on that ass. I'm on your heels. You know what I'm saying? Right where the little white part meet with the brown part right here. I'm on your ass, boy. And shit. <laughs> right up on him. You know what I'm saying? I don't play that type of shit. And then the motherfucker go, go play hide and seek. Nigga, I pull up. Nigga, I ain't pulling up to your house. Nigga, pull down the hill. Nigga, you want to do something, we can do whatever you want to do. I'm right down the street. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been going through this house, but what you want me to do? Hop out showing, showing my ass so your security guard can get a free kill up there? Oh, yeah, he came to my house. Threat. Come on, man. You ain't finna trick me off the streets like that. Bring your ass down here, nigga. You don't want to come up off them cameras, nigga. You know what's going to happen. They're going to whoop that ass. Uh, I'm not losing to no singer. I'm biting ears off and all. Man, fuck that. Nigga, I'm not losing to no Chris Brown. I ain't losing to Drake either. No disrespect, nigga. And, uh, or Tevin Campbell. Or <laughs> I'm not losing to Cisco. None of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> they athletic too. I just can't. I'm not by any means. I gotta ask, man. Uh, Whack 100. I know you've had some things to say about Whack in the past. Shit. The nigga. I, I guess he work at the right track now. Or, or Rhino, one of them. Seen him with his face down, ass up the other day on the. <laughs> How the internet? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. After I hits the bitch, I ain't laying down naked, twinkling toes with my face, with my ass up on my phone. You back in chit chat, chit house, chat house? What that shit called? A clubhouse. Clubhouse. You back hiding behind the tree, asshole naked. You say the clubhouse in the tree. You asshole naked behind the tree, talking to everybody, gangster than a motherfucker. Just imagine the type of shit he was saying. You know how cut talk. <laughs> you talking, popping, all type of fly shit. Yeah, man, the own bloods, own power. You know what I'm saying? You got that ass out, my boy. 
Mr. Clapper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, nah, but I mean, I mean, I guess the paperwork surface on whack, as we all knew it would. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck it is. I I I, I advise every real nigga to separate from him, though. Uh, I heard he a good businessman, though. You know what I'm saying? So it got a lot of motherfuckers in a bind. But if a motherfucker gonna have you in the middle of his bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he gonna keep on doing bullshit while he got a million people tied to him. It's like a motherfucker uh, stop looking for him and hit one of his artists and then just wait for Cud to come look for that. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, like shout out Blueface, you know what I'm saying? Shout out the shooter, respect the shooter. Uh, but basically, like, for Game, Ray J and all them, like, you putting them niggas in a circle that they don't, you know what I'm saying? They already got their own shit going on. So now you go on an internet rent and you piss like, you piss the people off. And then you not popping out or, you know what I'm saying? You just talk too fucking much for real. You, to be a, a general, a pyro, like you talk too much cause dead homies. You talk too much, you let people know too many, you know what I'm saying? Like, like on six so you talk about trick tricking. Like how you know Unc and Trick Trick wanted want people to know about the future shit in the airport if it happened. You get what I'm saying? Like nigga, on hood, that's admitting to some bullshit. Like nigga, what is you walking a nigga down for somebody else's money for? You know what I'm saying? Like, like cause you so in a rush to prove yourself to the world about that shit. That shit supposed to be under the wraps, man. That shit is, is close to extortion. Yeah, I mean, not like that, but you get what I'm saying? Like, what are you for now? What if they get up on another motherfucker now they in your for? That's what you want. Like, when people when people get into it with Wack and it's finna go down, he like go on the internet and put it up there and timestamp it. So if something happened to him, the police already know he getting into it with these people. You get what I'm saying? Like, when we caught cuz at the at the little shit, nigga, it wasn't no cameras out because it wasn't camera time, my boy. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't camera time cuz on the dead homies. Nigga, that ain't what we was on. Nigga, how we gonna hurt a nigga with a camera in our hand? You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, at that point, I don't even want to hurt you, gang. You, 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 you was a real cop. You get what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker ain't even, like, all he wanted to do was post the footage. All right, post the footage then. Then you lying. You trying to mix both the situations in together. My One of my big bros slapped the shit out of cuz inside the show. The nigga runs. We tell the nigga, we, 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 when the nigga slapped the nigga and the nigga run, we already know where you running to. We on the horn when he slap you, gang. On 6-0. You run straight out the back door to us. But now the crazy part is, right? We was on the wrong floor. So now when we come down to your floor, you already get to your car. So now on the dead homies, we surround your car. Now you gotta pop out, man. Speak up, nigga, nigga, show face. Nobody wanted to do it. We could have dusted you down. I don't know. We could, man, you got that little, he talking about, oh, I pulled my gun out. Like, you just be saying, ain't you a convicted felon? Like, what did you talk about? You got to, you to pull the blick out and all this. Like, you're, you time stamping this shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Nigga, come on, man. You think it was a million niggas outside? Didn't nobody I know? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You put that strap out, we got closer to you. Nigga, use that motherfucker. Cause nigga, we not going nowhere. He nigga, dr nigga, turn the gun now. Now if I let the girl, now if I let the girl go to the police about what you did to her about moving the gate, like I still saved the nigga. She ready to call the police and all. Hey man, it ain't that serious. She DMing me like, why is he? Oh, I'm finna turn him in for drawing that gun on me and telling me, bitch, I'ma kill you if you don't open up the motherfucking, uh, cause he was stuck, and it was a person controlling that little arm. That go, you know what I'm saying? They get up out the parking deck. So he damn near shoot the bitch, trying to get up out of there. On the day, I, you know me, I got receipts. So I don't talk on nothing. You know what I'm saying? I got the receipts from the girl, all that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Wack 100, he's peculiar. He's very peculiar. Very. He seems to stay in the headlines. You know, he's always. He's uh, a cat in the hat. He's going to do whatever to be. He bigger than his artist. 
Like, whenever management is bigger than the artist, you got to flee away from that. He wants too much. You're not supposed to be in all the videos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Come Shouldn't on, man. Laid the blueprint. Uh, that ain't death row, gang. Okay? Uh, nigga, move like it's death row, nigga. Shake something, little nigga. That's a little dude, too. He talking, man, listen. What all are you working on musically? Right now, well, I got shelved, so if everybody want to know what happened, you know what I'm saying? I had Blue Jesus, it's finna come out, Break Baby Blue Jesus, that was my album. Uh, it was an EP, executive produced by Gunner, but right when we was about to start shooting the videos and all that, he went to jail right around his birthday. We was gonna wait till after the birthday, boom, boom, boom. He had just dropped, he told me to wait till he dropped, we was gonna rock out how we rock out. Free, free one on one or two, and that's my real brother. He took care of me while I'm gone, man. I'm sending letters. I'm trying to send money, you know that shit. He, he got everything paid up, but I, him and Thug, I'm sending letters. I'm trying to get to them, but uh, so since that been, that didn't drop, I'm doing all singles. Me and my artists, we about to drop a mixtape. Uh, me and New Jack, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow New Jack. That's my artist. We about to drop a mixtape. All right, I'm about to drop a mixtape with Metro Boomin. So that's the next thing that's going on. That's gonna be big. Yeah, that's what's uh, up. I got a couple singles with Turn Me Up, Josh, Rest in Peace, that's coming out. I got two with Dirk in the cut. Uh, I dropped with Icewear Vezo. That should probably be out by the time this drop. You already know, we just gonna stick and move. Duty Low just sent in the verse. Um, me and 21 Herald and 21 Savage, we, we've been uh, around each other a lot, so you know what happens when Rappers collaborate, be around each other, like you know what comes next. So me and Harold, they, them like my brothers. I've been having them with me. If you look up the video with me and him, nigga, 21 barely even had no jury back then. He don't wear jury like that now, but you know what I'm saying? I've been rocking with them since day one. So that's what we doing. And 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 Brick City is, is forming into a label. I got two artists, you know what I'm saying? It's just on the way. Most shit on the way. Uh, me and Energy got some shit going on. I got I got some shit in the works, but I'm pushing my artists. I, I, I'm looking at Birdman. I'm looking at, at Yo Gotti. I'm looking at QCP. I'm looking at Gucci Man. Them is all like the people that inspire me. So it's like you got to reinvent yourself with the kids. You got to keep on fucking with the youth. If you ain't fucking with the youth, you don't blow over. You know what I'm saying? And it happens like that all the time. You be stuck in that zone when you was cracking, like when you was popping. Shout out MPA Longway and all that, Pee Wee Longway. We got hella shit. We got a, uh, two more we about to drop. We about to shoot this video. Man, man that's what's up, man. man. I know you got a lot coming, man. A lot yeah. of big things, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's all it's all bottled up, ready to champagne out, man. You already know. We going to go crazy, though. Okay. It's big brick. I'm looking you know forward saying? to it, man. And, uh, I appreciate you, bro. Man, all the time, man. I appreciate you for always having me. Cam is the realest, man. If y'all want to go fuck with somebody else, go ahead. But the only person that's standing on that business, Cam Capone News, man. And that came from the big brick, man. That's Plain what it is, period. Man. Appreciate you.